Dark skies are important because they're, they're slowly being threatened by the urbanisation, uh, particularly in the south. So we've seen a lot of the south coast cities have developed and that brought about a lot more light pollution. Uh, and we're seeing now that a lot of kids are growing up these days without being able to see the Milky Way. And that's a shame. It's a place where we can kind of reconnect with nature on that kind of galactic scale. If we can see the Milky Way, well, that's our home. So a lot of the older generations are very enthusiastic about it. We're trying to get that legacy of the dark skies to encourage those younger generations or the next generation uh, to come out and uh, have a look. Uh, one of the most satisfying parts of the job is actually going out and meeting people who have not seen dark skies before. We've got ourselves a very nice telescope that people can look through. We call it the telescope of woe. That's the sound that people always make when they look through it. It's that, whoa, look at all that. That's the kind of reaction we want because that's what keep, gets people interested and, uh, and empowers them to go out and do something about their dark skies. Well, we firstly have to um, go out and measure where all our dark skies are. And once we've been able to measure where they are, we can do something about protecting them. And we're a little bit different from the other uh, reserves that are very very sparsely populated, but I think here in the south, where we've got the real battle of the photons, that we should really get the, the Dark Skies Association to really see that people that really want to protect them. And I always say, at the point at the end of our application actually, that the, uh, our skies not, may not be the darkest, they may not be the biggest, but they'll be the most careful.